is Sheila and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing y'all my late spring home tour. I'm really excited to show it to y'all. I wanted to show y'all all of the yellow I've pepper throughout my home and also the lemon decor. I've shown some on camera and I did a lot off camera from, you know, getting injured and all. I really want to show y'all everything that I've done before we take it all down and bring in this summer nautical, which I'm super excited to do. Go ahead and get started here in the foyer and I'm just kind of walk you through and show everything I've done and kind of point out where I've got some of the things, you know, so the typical kind of home tour. All right, without further ado, welcome to my home. Okay, we're gonna start here in my entryway. And now the door right here is where you come in and this is our hall closet. It's a pretty deep closet. It is a mess in there right now. That's where I keep all of my extra paper towels and toilet tissue and all my excess stuff. I get like Sam's or Costco or something. I've got to get in there and clean that. So I may have a video on that, you know, coming up soon. But anyway, uh, as you enter my home, here is the entry area my little foyer if you will we've done a couple videos in here and actually i told y'all before that i wanted a round mirror and i finally got one off amazon and i'm so excited so finally found the one i like <laughs> so this mirror here i've just changed it a few months ago i'll change it again to like a, a round black mirror so here is my little area that we're going to be changing up. I did put this little cabinet here, and this is what I've got right now. And it's a little cute cabinet. I got it from Hobby Lobby because I got the matching, almost identical matching one, like a bigger one at Home Goods. And I saw this one at Hobby Lobby, and it was so cute. So actually, I moved it over here, and I really like it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it there or not. But on the top of it, I've got a picture of white tulips. I really love how beautiful those white tulips looked in this picture. And I did have it on my dining room, but I brought it in here. Love it. And it's sitting on top of some faux books. And I, and then I just threw these white little bead uh, tassel um, rope thing. I just kind of weaved it around it. Thought they were really cute. And to keep my yellow starting right here, I've got these little two of these little cute little gnomes, little lemon gnomes, sitting on two risers or candlesticks. I thought they were just so adorable. So I brought them over here. And I've got a couple of these magnolia. These are actually a napkin rings. <laughs> and I just put them over here with this little candle with a little flickering candle. And behind that, I've got this, my okay. favorite lamp. It is so cute. And that's how I just decorate the top of this cabinet right here. And then above it, uh, this is the mirror that we just put up a few months ago, because I wanted to change it up, but it's gonna be changing up really soon again, because I got that round black mirror. And then I've got another, yeah. a different one of these um, I would order out of Amazon. So, we're going to be changing that up as well. But anyway, this is how I've got my, my foyer decorated on this side of it. I threw this yellow rug down. You know, I thought that looked really cute in here. And um, now I do have these. And now over here on this door, um, this is what I was telling y'all earlier. It's my closet. I just threw this little faux, these little greenery. These are greenery balls. I got this from Kirkland's. It's really cute. And then over on this side of the area, now over here I've got my blanket ladder. And this is how I did it. Um, got my yellow and white throw blanket. Then I just run some more of those uh, little bead, tassel beads things right there. And my lights, you know, I just kind of, they, they actually come on because of the time I'm filming. <laughs> and then above it, now this area here, I just love, love, love. Um, this is a shelf that I got from Home Goods. Uh, I decorated all the season differently, but I just kind of threw some things up on it. I kept that same wreath and the same welcome sign, and then I got some wooden vases. I got some tulips in it, and then two of these white spears, and my little cute little bird here. He is so cute. And then my little home sign, I got that from uh, Hobby Lobby, yeah. So this is how I got this side of the entryway decorated. So this is on this side looks. 
All right, I'm back out of this area. I love that shelf, it's one of my favorite shelves. And this is the way it looks like on this side. Okay, now as we go into my home, this area of here, and I get lots of questions about these, this home, how I did it. We actually did it on a video together. They're just those monogram letters I got from Hobby Lobby, and then I just used one of those faux wreaths I got from Hobby Lobby as well. And a lot of people ask me about this. I get lots of compliments on it, and I really, really like it. I saw somebody did it on, I think Pinterest. But anyway, that's how I did that. And everybody asked me about that. It's one of my favorite little, it was like the perfect little part of the wall for that home monogram letters, a perfect little corner of that wall. And below it, I've got, you know, I got this plant holder here from uh, yeah, Hobby Lobby. And I just throw some, then I threw some faux fern um, stems in there from Hobby Lobby as well. Kind of the same thing I've had before. Now, as we turn, this is my, I call it my hallway. It goes, now this room here is actually my bathroom. And then here in that room, that's my office. I'm still working on my office, by the way. And here is my pony wall. Now, I kind of play around with it. I decorate it as, you know, when I do my seasonal decor, I've done all kinds of things. In front of it, I got this bench I got from... Home goods, yeah, and I love the gray because it kind of matches my sectional. And I just threw a throw blanket up on it and two uh, matching coordinating throw pillows. And of course I got the rug below it. And now on top of the pony wall, I decided I found this gorgeous eucalyptus garland and I got it from uh, Home Goods, yeah. And I did throw, weave some lights in it because I wanted it, you know, give it some sparkle. And then I got this pitberry garland I picked up from Amazon and I laid it on top. I just thought it looked kind of pretty together. Especially in the evening when my light comes on, it looks really pretty. And that's how I have that pony wall decorated. And then on this corner here of the pony wall, um, this is one of the hurricane lamps I had on this shelf right over here, and I just moved it. And speaking of the shelf, we did this together um, in a video. And I think it looks great like that. And I did now I did change out the yellow flowers I put there, and I put these magnolia flowers. Actually, actually napkin holders, and I just threw them up on here. I thought it kind of looked bit prettier and then that's all I did to this area all right and then we're going back out of this part now we're going to go into my living room let me get turned around here and show y'all from this view Okay, now we're gonna go, now I'm gonna turn around. Okay, now over on this side of, I would say, going into my living room, this is the video that we did my, those DIY curtains, and uh, y'all gave me some great ideas about, somebody said they put some command hooks here and kind of use it to hold it back, like something like this. But I just, y'all gotta remember, I gotta be able to use it very, if they come in, I've gotta take all this stuff down. So I just did, I just did it this way. I don't really need to command hooks, but thank you. That's a great idea, but I have done that before. But it's just something I just made because it's eyesore. <laughs> but here is how I got that done. And then on the other side of it, I do have like a wall clock. And, um, and this is how as we, as we go into the living room. And at the bottom, I've got an a, a old lantern that I kind of like throw some greenery in. I think there's some... Um, lights in there comes in comes on in the evenings or something okay now uh, down here I got like a fern um, I got another matching oh dear uh, pot that I got that from because I got this one and then that one in there that kind of matches it so sorry about the focus that one and right here I got both of them last year or yeah two years ago at Hobby Lobby and these are just fern picks that I picked up and kind of threw them in there. I love them, so pretty. Okay, now let's turn around to show y'all my sectional and living room. 
All right, now I got y'all here in here in my living room. Now, um, this is my sectional, y'all know, if y'all been with me for a while. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with my sectional. Um, I just, I don't know, hubby likes it, and I've asked him to just get something different, and he's, he's so comfortable, and plus, when we do buy another house, we may use it for, like, his man cave or something, but anyway, um, now here... I kept my yellow going. I got um, this yellow pillow and this yellow pillow are pillow covers. Um, I got them off Amazon and they're so soft and they're like a, almost like a, not like a suede, but almost, but super, super great quality. I showed y'all those on a shopping haul that I got from Amazon. And then that right there, Hobby Lobby. Now, over here, I got this adorable little pillow cover here. I got it off Amazon, and it is so cute, and I thought it'd be perfect, you know, for the yellow theme I got going on, but it says, Welcome to Our Home, and it's got little bumblebees, and I love the buffalo check. It is too cute, and now that one there is a pillow cover as well, and then on this side here, sorry, y'all, the my couch. I had to keep my cubby off my couch when I was filming. Messed it up. Oh, well, you know how men are. <laughs> um, that's the matching yellow pillow cover. And then that one there is uh, that from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> anyway, now that is how I brought the yellow here uh, on my couch. And I do have a throw blanket. Um, it's yellow. Uh, kind of like bring a pop of yellow. And I love the yellow and gray. Really, really like that combo. And up on the wall here, um, there's my, I caught my sun mirror. I got that at an estate sale years ago. Love it. And then on this side of the wall, uh, these two pieces here, I just kind of threw them up on it because I needed something on this wall here. And I've got them two pieces from Hobby Lobby, as, uh, I think. But I just kind of threw them up. Oh, they yeah. changed it really soon. I'm just, I'm just not a big fan. But at first, I thought it was going to look better than what it does. But I don't know. Now, I'm going to pan over a little bit. Now, on this side, I know the sun's coming in. On this side of my sectional, I've got this little table here. Cute little table I got from Home Goods. And then on top of it, um, this plant is actually an artificial plant right here I got from Hobby Lobby. And this adorable uh, pot, actually I got it from Hobby Lobby as well. And I thought it was perfect. It says choose to shine. It is so pretty. I love that beautiful yellow. You know, I got got and I thought it would match perfectly and on the bottom down here I just got a little bird um little greenery there and I think that's like a, I just picked it up at Hobby Lobby then I got that cute little sign back there it says our nest and um that's how I've got my living room decorated in the yellow so there is how we I did all of that and I do keep this right here um out because since the section, the way it's made, I don't. We don't have nowhere if we sit down and get a soda, or water, or a cup of coffee or something. Uh, I just put it on top of that because I don't really have anywhere. I don't have no end tables or anything, so we just use that. But anyway, there is how I got my living room done. Alrighty, I'm about to back up a little bit. Let y'all see in its entirety. Okay, now we're going to uh, kind of pan down because of the light coming from the uh, patio doors. Now I'm going to kind of go up on this side. This here we was going to do together on my last video, but I just kind of threw it up together. Um, I, didn't, I ran out of time. But now what I did was I kind of kept that same home sign up. I got it from Hobby Lobby a couple years, I think last year maybe. And on top of this... This cabinet here, I got now. This one here, I got it from uh, Home Goods, and I love it. And it's like that one matches the other smaller one I got it in my foyer, and but I got this one first. But I love it. I, this is where I keep all of my my Ray Dunn items and extra my good plates and Christmas stuff and all kinds of things in there. Y'all can see probably looks so messy. Yeah, it's it's a mess. But that's where I keep all of those extra things. I really don't have nowhere to put. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I that's what I house it. And I was on my plates down at the bottom. You know, gotta make have find some storage. I need more storage. <laughs> but anyway, now on top of this cabinet, 
um, what I did here, I um, got this little garland right here. I just kind of weaved it and kind of flowing on the side here. And on top, there's extra pieces of that pit bear garland that broke up that I kind of put piece here and piece there. I just kind of weaved it in that greenery. And here is another yellow picture. And then I got those faux tulips in it. Beautiful. And then I got two candlesticks with two of those little, on these two candlesticks, I just got a couple of those faux garden balls. Really cute. And on this side here, now that little pedestal I got from Amazon and I absolutely adore it. I love the, all uh, the, the distressing and all the exposed paint. I really like it, but um, this is gonna be changing up because like I said, we're doing nautical coming up. And then on top, I just put this little cute little signs that stay a while. Cute. And oh yeah, and I did throw that little bird there in the afterthought. But that's what I did to the top of that cabinet. Again, that's what I was gonna do uh, on my last video, but we ran out of time. But again, I, I'm not, I didn't do too, too much to it because I'm gonna be taking all that down, but I just wanted something there, you know, to finish out the, the yellow decor. All right, now on this corner here, uh, y'all have seen this before. I've got this gorgeous glass vase I got at a, I think it was at a thrift store, if I ain't mistaken. I didn't pay much for it at all, and I really, really love it. They sell them at Home Goods, and I think they're around 50 bucks at Home Goods, but I think I paid like $10 for it at a thrift store. No, a consignment store. Sorry, scratch it. Consignment store. And I just got it full of those beautiful, just different kinds of yellow florals that I had, you know, in my stash. I just kind of put them here and there. And I just love how it fits in this corner. It just looks gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Okay, now we're going to kind of pan over to my entertainment center. And that's how, now this is what I did to you. I did keep my yellow and lemon and my green decor going on the top of my entertainment center. I got two of these lemon trees. Now these here guys were so old. I've had them, oh my goodness, I couldn't tell you how long I've had them. I bought them at Michael's probably 10 years ago or better. And I just, every once in a while I've got to hot glue one of the little small um, lemons. I mean, they pop off. <laughs> anyway, I just put up a cute little pedestal here. Now this here is a little, I think it's a plant stand actually. I got it from Home, uh, Hobby Lobby and a little bird now here in the middle I got some greenery and then I found this link chain I know it's really hot everybody's buying them but I bought this one and it's ceramic kind of um, I got it from home goods and I don't even think it was like 10 bucks I mean and I think I just kind of put it here to the pop of gold you know with the yellow I thought would complement everything else and then on this side the other matching lemon tree um, this is like a little, this is like a little bird cage here, and I got like a faux greenery in there, and here on top of this pedestal, I bought this from at uh, Kirkland's, and um, I got one of those little faux flickering candle in it, and this lantern, so, and oh yeah, and I still kept that same family sign up, um, because I want something there to block out some of these cords, and I did try to hide it best I can, because I got me a cord cover right there. Anyway. I just got a basket full of greenery at the very bottom. And that is how I decorated that. So I'm gonna kind of pan over, let y'all see that. Together. Now these here, I get a lot of questions about these teardrop lanterns. Um, I got them at Hobby Lobby. They still sell them. And I put a couple of those little flickering uh, folk candles in there. And the leftover uh, pit berry that I've been telling y'all that it's been broken in pieces, I just kind of wrapped it around uh, the base of it. And I thought it really, really cute with that little pop of yellow on both of them. I did one on that one. And I'm, oops, sorry. Hey, y'all. <laughs> and I did one here on this one too. And I thought that looks really pretty, especially with a pop of yellow, you know. Um, I just put up the base and I thought that was, you know, for bits and pieces of that broke off, I thought that'd be a perfect thing to put there. So, you know, I forgot to add, tell you about that, but that's what I did to that. Lanterns. And I, I get so many questions about those teardrop lanterns, but yeah, those, they still sell them. And I'm, I think at around $25, something like that at Hobby Lobby. 
And y'all can see I just put hooks in these black little wall decor pieces here that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. And now I'm going down at the bottom. This is a bird cage I got from TJ Maxx. I just throw some greenery in it, you know, just to have, you know, fill a space up. I don't really have any idea what I want to do with it right now. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but I just put it here for like, like I said, for space. <laughs> and uh, here's my other blanket ladder. Now this blanket ladder, um, I love, I've had it, I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's, I just threw up a yellow Ray Dunn Happy Spring blanket and strung one of those beads up. And then on top, I always do this. I think I've been doing this for longest, have got my first blanket ladder. I've always kind of swagged some greenery that, now this greenery is one of my favorites. I got it from Hobby Lobby. And I just kind of swag some pieces, kind of cascading down in different ways. But I have always done that to my blanket ladders. I just think it looks pretty like that. But anyway, there is that. Now that is the whole side of, the, of my living room. And right above it is my TV. So there is that area. And uh, I'm kind of painting around a little bit to show a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to go here in my dining room. Now, this here is where I put all the lemons and lots of yellow in here, and I love it. It is when I get up in the morning, I come straight in here to the dining room dining room area, you know, to make my coffee and, <laughs> yeah, hello, uh, and to make my coffee and whatnot. But I just love sitting here and it just puts a smile on my face because how bright and cheerful it is. And I really, really like it. I, I, it just, I can't say enough about it. It may be uh, a little bit for much for some. And, and, and I will be honest with y'all and say, hubby was a little bit like, wow, you know, like Sheila, I mean, <laughs> he went a little bit on the lemons, and I did, but I'm happy with it. And it just puts a smile on my face, and, you know, I'm happy, and that's all that matters. You know, as long as, you know, I like it. It's my home. So, anyway, but, okay, let's go in here. I just want to kind of show y'all uh, all of it at one glance, kind of show y'all. And then there's my cat, Mr. Bentley, <laughs> and he has to uh, be in the video. So anyway, okay, let's start right here um, on this wall and uh, start, you know, let me show you a little bit about it. Now, we did this video together. Um, I kind of uh, hung up this mug rack and this added a few Ray Dunn mugs, and then I put that wreath there, and then that, that's actually that lemon garland piece is um, actually, it was it's part of a, like a bigger piece, but just broke, and that's just what's got remaining, and I just... Put that at the very top of the mug rack because just because it's a mug rack doesn't mean it's got to be used for mugs. I don't use it that way, but I like it. And I just threw up, um, I did get this little would be garland here uh, that's kind of snaking up. I got that from Amazon. And these are two Ray Dunn mugs, kind of one says Hello Spring, one says Create Your Own Sunshine. I thought it was perfect for this area. And then I did change up and put this little welcome little sign I got from. Uh, Hobby Lobby, yeah, and so I love that how I did it. Really, really cute. Okay, and I'm gonna go down below the muck rack first before we go to the rest of this stuff on the wall. And here is a table that I picked up from Home Goods. I was going to put it in the foyer, but because I had the other cabinet here in its place, but I thought I would put the cabinet here, and I, and I like it. Okay, um, now this lamp here, guys, I got that lamp right there from. Hobby Lobby for like twenty dollars. It was on clearance, and I absolutely adore it. It's really, really nice. I like the little distressing it's got on it, and I like how this small lampshade, but it's kind of it fits the proportion of the lamp itself. I, I thought it was just adorable. On clearance for twenty dollars, I thought I can't beat that. <laughs> so I've always left this lamp over on this area here, regardless of what I. Either have the cabinet or I've got this table. Okay, this here is a Ray Dunn um, uh, watering can. Uh, can't remember, probably TJ Maxx or Marshall or something. And I filled it full of beautiful yellow tulips. I love these. I got them from Amazon. 
I just absolutely adore. I don't know if they're, they're orange or the yellow. I can't remember, but I'll, and I'll link anything I've got from Amazon in, in the description box just in case y'all are interested in anything that I, I bought. But now these here are just so gorgeous. Love it. And I thought they really, really look good in this watering can. And here are my two adorable, absolutely adorable salt and pepper shakers. They're little bee salt and pepper shakers. So many people ask me about these. They're so cute. But I got them from Amazon. Adorable. All right, and then over here, I got that one of my mini ladders right here. Everybody asked me where I got these mini ladders, y'all, and they all came from Hobby Lobby, every single one of them. And I, last year, where I got them, by the way. And anyway, um, I just kind of threw up one of those little succulents here, kind of snaked it on the mini ladder, and now in front of it, on this white pedestal, I've got this gorgeous yellow and white polka dotted um, little pitcher. And then inside of it, I've got these little, I've got what you call these. Um, one says fresh, one says lemonade, uh, rolling pins, duh. <laughs> Two of these rolling pins, I kind of just positioned them in there and I had a leftover mini little lemon. So I just put it in there. I thought it looked really cute. And then over here, I just over a apothecary jar, and I just filled it full of some leftover lemon and limes that I had left over in a big bag that I bought from Amazon. And I just threw it in this little pitcher, and I thought they were really cute. And then down here, I got this little cute, adorable little bicycle, and I did put all this little purple lavender in it. I thought that would look really cute together. Adorable. And I did get this runner here, y'all, from... Home goods, and I thought the yellow and white would really look good from all the yellow I got going on. And lastly, I got this little mini little pillow from Hobby Lobby, and I just kind of hung it up here on this riser. I thought that looked cute. So that's how I did the top. And like uh, again, we did most of this together, but I did kind of add little things here and there. All right, and on the second shelf, it's just a basket I had left over, and I got a piece of remnant from. Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I just threw it in the basket and then put some leftover lemons and a few little limes that I got. And then put this little sign here in front of it. I like that little sign. And then the last shelf here, I adore. These are faux books I got from Marshalls. And they are just perfect for my lemon, um, my little lemon decor. I just set this one here up on a uh, picture stand. And I thought that really cute. And then lastly, I got this one here. I had a small lemon that I put in these little glass dome things here. It's so cute. But anyway, that's how I did that shelf. Really, really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to get back up. Okay, now we're going to go up back up on the dining room wall. But first, I, somebody asked me about this, and I forgot about telling y'all this. I, I guess it's a firefly. I don't know, but it's on like a... I just got it hanging up there, and it kind of gives me like a bumblebee kind of look, but it's like a little hook. I thought it was cute, so I just threw it up on there. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. I don't know, a few dollars, but anyway, but somebody did ask me about that. I wanted to tell y'all about that. Okay, now we're going to go up on the rest of the dining room wall, and um, I absolutely adore it. Now, I really do. Uh, I know it's a lot, but to me, I think everything just blends so well together. It's just gorgeous. Okay, now first thing I did, um, I kind of did this a video with y'all uh, back in January when I did like the wintertime neutral decor, and then I did change it up a little bit uh, for spring, but I did keep a lot. Uh, starting with this charcuterie board right here, I got that from Hobby Lobby, and I just like the way how long it is, and it kind of flowed well with the neutral decor I had going on, and I just kept it up there. And then um, I kept those same candlesticks here. I got them from Hobby Lobby. And now these little uh, garden balls, I got them from a, a little store here in North Carolina where we live. And I love them. Absolutely love them. I just love the bright green. Because, <laughs> you know, it was spring. I thought, you know what, I'm going to put something a little brighter. And now these here are some fern picks. Or you can call them like fern garland or something, but they are really, really pretty and very long. And I just snaked one kind of like all around those two candlesticks on this end. And then I do have another one down there and I just snaked it around that one. And I just love them how they, it's got light and then it goes darker, darker. I just thought that was perfect. 
you know, for spring. And I also had them up for in the winter, um, you know, like a peak from what's to come. And I just adore them. And they was only like $5. I mean, really, really economical. Very, very well well priced. And um, like I said, it was at home. But then, um, now what I did over here in the middle, um, that is a faux book, and then here's another faux book. These two, I just put them two to give it like a little bit more higher, um, like a little rise, and I put a, um, I had an old cutting board I got from Hobby Lobby. And then now this here is a container, an olive oil container, and I love how it's like distress, and I got it from Home Goods. Adore it. like only like seven dollars, very, very cheap. Now, here is another one of those little um glass dome, it comes like a three set, and I put another one of my little lemons in it. I thought that was perfect, you know, like I give a little hint of a uh, the yellow in the middle there. Very, very pretty. Now, on this end of the shelf, um, I just got this gorgeous, I've had it for years, my favorite. A vase and then I put these lemon picks here on it well in excuse me and I got them from oh AC Moore when it was in business and I love them and I thought that right there looks so good a little peak of yellow and the pops of yellow just gorgeous now the shelf here I get so many questions about the shelf that everything's on it came from Hobby Lobby y'all and I, they still sell it and I think it's around I don't know, 40 bucks, but you can get them 50% off. So I didn't pay but 20, $25 for it, I can't remember. And I love these little metal hooks here. Very, very pretty. Now below the shelf, um, now this here, I just added it later. I, I like it, it's a rolling pin, but it's got kitchen on there. I mean, it's a, it gives you illusion, it's a rolling pin. I love the little uh, nautical string on each end. I got this one here from Hobby Lobby. And I thought all of that together, you know, with the wood, they kind of match so good. Now, on this end of the uh, wall, I'm going to back up a little bit. Now, this here, this little wall piece here, I did, I bought it from Hobby Lobby, and I did have it over there on the, in my little hallway uh, below the shelf. I did have it there, and I put it over here because I thought the wood would kind of look a little better on this side, and I'm so glad I did. It looks really pretty with all that distressing and everything. Gorgeous. And then uh, on the afterthought, I, I did add this here, the sweet tea and sunshine. It's a little bitty picture I got from uh, uh, Hobby Lobby. And I just kind of put one of those little um, little pin and into the wood because it's kind of a soft wood this is. And I put it here and I thought it was perfect little addition. Just so gorgeous. And that is how, let me back up a little bit. That's how I did this wall. Super, super pretty. I get so many comments on it and compliments for that matter, but it's just so pretty. It's just so, it's just bright and it pops off the wall, the yellow and the green, and then the wood just kind of like accents it. It's so perfect. And I know it's a lot, like I said, but hey, I like it. And, you know, like I said, now hubby wouldn't be, he thinks it's a little busy himself, but, you know, he usually don't say nothing about it, but he did kind of say, whoa. <laughs> But, you know, I, I, I adore it. But it's getting ready to come down. Mm -hmm. Redoing this whole wall. Like, everything is going to be coming down. I'm going to redo this whole wall coming up very soon. And to, I don't know what I'm going to put up in. I'm going to take the shelf down. I don't know what I'm going to put up in its place. If I am going to have another shelf or what I'm going to do. But, anyway, all of this is coming down very soon. I hate to see it go, but I'm excited what's to come. <laughs> okay, now, on this side over here. On this side of the dining room, I have this shelf and I get so many questions about this shelf here. It is a shelf that I had bought from Hobby Lobby several, several years ago. And uh, I think it was a really hot item, and, but they try to, everybody keeps asking, they ever bring it back and they never did. And I just kind of got leaned up against the wall and I just kind of filled it full of all kinds of the green, the yellow, and anything that's kind of spring related, uh, I put it over here and I just love it. Now on the first shelf, these two bird finials here, I got them from Hobby Lobby. And I got a little bitty home picture here because I got that little wreath and I thought they'd be pretty. Now this is another mini ladder I got from Hobby Lobby and I just put up a tea towel, a yellow tea towel. And then I this little greenery here on the top of it. And I kind of got kind of cascading down. And I like the yellow and green combo, so I kind of kept that going with that mini ladder, and I love it. It's so pretty together, especially with those two birth finials. 
I just love all those combinations of the distressing and the wood colors and just so pretty. Now, this right here, I bought it from Hobby Lobby. It's just a little starburst is what I call it, but I just, it's just pretty and I just threw it up there on the top shelf. But I just love how that looks. Now, going down to the second shelf, um, I got these little faux books sitting on top of a yellow apple. And then now these two Crocs right here, I got them from Home Goods, and I adore them. They match that olive oil um, container that's on this shelf up on the dining room wall almost to a T. It's like it's a set, which I didn't buy them that way. <laughs> and again, I got another one of those little cutting boards back here in the back right there. I just kind of use it for accent. And I've got that little bitty mint little, little sign there. And on the third shelf... Um, I got this little trio here, a greenery. I got it from Hobby Lobby. And this one here, I got this beautiful bird. He is so pretty. I love the color of them. I got them at, I think, uh, TJ Maxx or Marshall's one. And then I got this, and then I set them on top of this, set them on top of this little wreath here. And I love all those colors together. Gorgeous. And then on the next little shelf, I got one of those huge garden balls. I just threw it here. And another one of those. Uh, ceramic uh, fruit that I got from uh, Home Goods, and it matches the apple up here that I got. And I, and then on this, on the very end here, I got two of these ceramic. They're kind of like fruit baskets that you get at the grocery store with strawberries and whatnot in it, but they're actually ceramic. And I just put the white one here, and then kind of caught the yellow one in the side of it. And then the last shelf, I just full of some. Leftover greenery balls and a shelf that I had, you know, that's all it is on that one. And that is how I did that shelf. Well, uh, shelves, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And it, it just, like I said, I love everything about it. It's, uh, I've all, uh, you can actually hang it up on the wall if you want to. It's got this way you can hook it, uh, but I just got it, you know, right up against the wall. Just gorgeous. Okay, now moving on over uh, to my, I call it my farmhouse mirror. Um, I got this beautiful wreath. It was kind of like really beat up. And I got it from Home Goods and it was beat up pretty good. And I just kind of, um, kind of nursed it back a little bit, added some lemons here and there to it. And it had some lemons on it, but I did add a few more, you know, give it more unison, I guess. And uh, I love it. It looks, so, I mean, because I needed more yellow on this side of the wall. And I think I accomplished it by adding that beautiful lemon wreath. I mean, it's just so pretty. And then the last thing is over here I do is this eat sign right there. Um, I got it from, oh, I've had that. And it came from Hobby Lobby. All on the walls. Now, let me go show you the dining room table. Let me back up a little bit. Oh, and uh, before I forget, um, on, in my chairs, I've got two beautiful um, pillow covers. I got these from Amazon. And then this one here says, when life gives you lemons, add sugar. <laughs> That's when I put it on one, the back one. And then I got another one over here. Let me try to move over on this side. Okay. And then this one here, it says, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So it's cute. And I just got them on both of the back of the... Um, chairs um, speaking of my chairs we're all going to be changing my chairs out to my dining room table which i'm super excited and that's coming up very soon but uh, anyway here is my dining room table we did this um tablescape together um now i did my place settings here are the same ones that i had we did together i got these from hobby lobby and then i put up some beautiful green that sage green uh, linens and then um, napkin holders from Kirkland's and they are just so beautiful and I just thought this would be perfect for my tablescape. Well, for, well, and I thought this would be perfect for my place setting. And then in the middle, what I did, I got this fish bowl, that's what I'm going to call it, this glass fish bowl from Home Goods, and then I just filled it full of lemons and limes. And somebody did say to me on my last video when I was showing them this, these may be green lemons which is a possibility, but, you know, I so thank you for letting me know that. I just thought maybe they were just limes because that's what it says in the package, lemon and limes, and that's what it was that there. So it could be green uh, lemons. I don't know, but I love that fish bowl.
And like I said, I just filled it full of some lemons and I just love the two colors really popping off. And now I do have like a little riser. It's actually here. This here is actually a plant stand that I just put up this um, wreath I bought. And then I had this little remnant piece of um, pitberry garland. And I just kind of doctored it together to make like a circle and kind of weaved it around this um, this wreath here. And I love everything about it. And that's how I have my tablescape. Gorgeous. And it's simple, very, very simple. Nothing fancy schmancy or anything like that because we do live here, we do eat here. So, you know, I just want to keep it very simple. And I, but I still love how the lemons and, and the greenery and everything. And I even on my place uh, mats right here, I wanted to keep these um, as far as to match the wood I got going on. But anyway, that is how I have my dining room. And again, um, I know it's a lot, but I adore it. I really, really adore it. Okay, now, all right, uh, now without building details all about my dining, my kitchen, um, on the top of my cabinetry, I did kind of throw some different things up there. Actually, I need to move my greenery. I do have some greenery that I just put the very top. It's actually some, uh, I think it's some eucalyptus that I, uh, garland I picked up from, I think, Amazon. And now here, as y'all can see, uh, right there, it's just a, a wooden bowl and it's full of uh, green apples, you know, to bring some greenery in. And then I got a little cute little yum sign and then another little uh, bowl. And I think it came from at home. I just got some greenery in it. And then the other side, I got another lantern and that uh, another thing I've had that for years. I just keep it up there for all my space filler. And on top of my um, refrigerator and back it up a little bit um now here i just got some candlesticks with some flickering candles and apple now this is another uh glass bowl that I, I actually got some lemons in it now these lemons i love them i got them from kirkland's they've got little greenery stems on them and i really like that they really look like fresh picked lemons <laughs> and this side here i got my um my joanna Gaines cookbook that i've there's two of them that I, I really use a lot of her recipes in. And that is all I've got on the top of my cabinetry to bring a little bit of the yellow and green in my decor. All right, now I'm gonna spin y'all around a little bit here. And on top of this cabinet, I just got a couple white uh, pictures um, and some, I, some kind of that grass, some grass in there and then a tobacco basket on top. And then down here on top of my bar here, um, I got this glass vase, that I, and then I've just got some different stems in it. I've got some of those lemon uh, picks in there and some other greenery. And then on the bottom here, now this uh, bowl, I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's a, I love it. I've got it on clearance. I just got it full of this different kind of breads and cheeses and things like that. And, um, and on the other side here, oops, sorry. The other side here, I just got a lamp and a little faux greenery bush. Nothing. Let me move this out of the way. I forgot about that receipt. <laughs> but anyway, that is how I got my bar decorated. Nothing, you know, nothing crazy, but again, we're going to be doing that differently really soon. But here is the front of that glass um, vase that I got that uh, we've got some greenery in it and some lemon picks in there. And then that is how I've got my kitchen done. Oh, oh and I forgot to show y'all these here. Now this here, oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot to move that. That's my charger cord. <laughs> uh, here, i um, got a couple of these swagged around each one of these little hooks here. Um, I love this bee theme one. That's what came off Amazon. And these little bee gnomes are so cute. I just kind of hung them up by their tops of their hats. <laughs> but that's what I decorated the corner um, of my cabinetry going into my kitchen. All right, you all. Well, there you go. That is it. That's um, that's the main living area in my home. 
So let me get back over there and uh, let's go ahead and close this video up. All right, you all, well, there you go. That's how I decorated my house this time around in the, all the yellow. So like I said, now I've already went to the storage unit. I've got all of the totes uh, where I've got all my nautical decor. I've already got it in my office. That's why I didn't want to show you how it looks and it's a mess right now because I got all my nautical stuff out and I just want to see where I want to go with it. So starting next week, we'll start on that as well as also I want to do a video on my back patio, kind of like a you know, kind of rearranging. I got a new rug and a few other things. So I want to go ahead and show y'all that's coming up. Plus I want to redo my dining room. I already told y'all about that. The new chairs and I'm going to get a new rug for that area as well. So we still got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I'm so ready to buy a house. Y'all. I really am. I, I know it's what's wrong with me. I'm kind of like, I'm ready to move and it's like, I'm, I'm getting bored with my decor. So I want to change it up because I, I really am ready to buy a house, but you know, but anyway, y'all, um, but, you know, I am ready. I really am ready. <laughs> all right, you all. Well, thank y'all very, very much for watching. I really, really appreciate y'all taking the time to watch my video. It just, just swells my heart. It really does. Okay, as always, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join my little YouTube family. And for those who've been around since day one, y'all will always have my heart. Alrighty, well, until next time, sending all of my love from my home to yours. Happy decorating. Bye bye. See y'all really soon. Where'd you go? What's the score? Did you find what you were looking for? I never see you.